It's so nice of you to join me today. Hamkus or ham us or hamsi us. I apologize for its pronunciation. I am ignorant of how this brand is pronounced. From this point forward, I will be calling it Hamkus, and I do apologize if this is the incorrect pronunciation. If you know how it is actually supposed to be pronounced, please let me know in the comments. I would be much obliged. Hamkus is a Chinese fashion brand that seeks to break China's reputation as being seen as industrialized copycats in the fashion world. Is it ethical to say Italian food is spicy? Or Spanish food is spicy? Or Indian food is spicy? Is it ethical to call the Chinese copycats, uh, industrialized copycats, when discussing the mass produ production of, of other brands uh, in order to reap a profit? I do apologize. I feel I could pick my words better. It's safe to say, however, that Hemkus is a high-fashion brand that pioneers sci-fi and militaristic elements into varying levels of eccentricity, ranging from going full ham in a good way to a much more wearable everyday garments. Hamkus devotes tremendous portions of its marketing to developing and crafting lore related to every garment the website offers, including name tags, ID tags with lore and which all have lore relevant information and it is included in every purchase. From what I have seen, Hamkus designs are unisex and emphasize practicality, maneuverability and comfort as well as the iconic sci-fi feel. One can easily tell something is Hamkus just by looking at it. Hamkus is a heavy presence in any scenario and this often leads to Hamkus being criticized amongst the techwear community for being costumey. I definitely agree that Hamkus can quickly come off looking like a costume, but for many people that is for the point. It is for me. You will definitely stand out wearing Hamkus, though they do offer some subtler, more wearable daily items. Customers who like Hamkus are probably interested in standing out and welcome this beautiful ribald style. You will, you will look like you are from the future, or in space, or straight out of a sci-fi set if you want to, with Hamkus. Hamkus pieces are indubitably expensive, and I feel they are a curious subject of study, since it feels like in order to pull off, shall we say, a Hamkus outfit, one must purchase multiple pieces, so it seems. It feels like it is hard to put together an outfit that is not head-to-toe Hamkus. The price of the jumpsuits, which is exactly head-to-toe, by definition, <laughs> reflects the notion that one will have a hard time pairing any item purchased without spending $1,000 or more. Because it is comparable in price to other outfits that uh, cover similar portions of the body. Perhaps others have a profound imagination, but it seems like each piece is so distinctive, so uncompromising in its vision, that it really only goes well with other outfit items. I say this as a double-edged sword. It is my impression that the Hamkus brand deliberately sells products that are designed to be worn together, and each piece can easily dominate and overpower any outfit it is worn with. The fact that price points for things like jumpsuits are similar to the price points of other outfits comprised of isolated pieces gives credence to this theory, and it is merely a theory of mine. I hope you understand this is a gentle criticism, and I find this to be a fascinating, novel, and brilliant marketing tactic on behalf of Hamkus, and it may only be my imagination. Of course, this comes with the downside that it is difficult to pair Hamkus with non-Hamkus products, in my opinion, from what I have seen, since even a Hamkus in accessory will quickly become the center of any outfit due to its sheer eccentricity. But the positive side of this is that outfits are designed to overlap and work with each other in ways that are very comfortable and convenient. I feel this will continue to increase and wearing a full Hamkus outfit feels 
almost like wearing some kind of suit of articulated armor in how everything is tied together and interplays with other pieces. It does feel like Hankus intentionally designs their products to encourage buyers to buy multiple items instead of merely one piece. Though I have seen some people pair Hamkus items nicely with other outfits, this is my impression and a common perception of the Hamkus brand. If one wears Hamkus with non-Hamkus items, it definitely requires an increased degree of forethought, Ham in my opinion. Hamkus is an exceptionally spicy brand in its presentation. The ears jumpsuit came to me from one of Hamkus's stockists and arrived with convenient fabric bags, which one had a tear in. The bags all have logo information all throughout relating to the brand and the lore of the items purchased or of the brand. It feels like buying movie costume merchandise sometimes due to the distinctive and overwhelming branding. I say overwhelming in a good way. There are other brands that are more subtle, but Hamkus is a loud brand. You know it's Hamkus when you see it. Hamkus has become a meme in techwear circles as level 100. It is as extra as it gets in a good way. I had ordered the size extra large, large, and medium to see which fit me best. The extra large and the large swam on me to such a degree that it looked exceedingly bulky in the midsection. The medium finally fit, but the smaller size made putting on boots underneath the leg portions impossible, while putting the legs into boots was difficult due to the tremendous hardware present. The pictures on the website demonstrate the ears jumpsuit being worn with snow boots. But, in my experience, snow boots are difficult to walk in for long periods of time. I'd like, and when I say snow boots, I mean snowboarding boots. Snowboarding or skiing boots, it looks like. I'd like to see what other items of footwear could be worn with Hamkus jumpsuits like this. The medium jumpsuit comes with tremendous, jump, uh, tremendous features. So many features... I, sh I say medium, but all of the sizes, it, they all, the, all of the, the, the jumpsuit comes with so many features, I shall forego for the sake of brevity listing all of them. The main features are a hood that can be tucked into the collar, sleeves that can be detached, the back can be undone for greater ventilation, the top can be unzipped and allowed to hang down, lots of belts and straps to adjust the fit as well as adjust how it sits on the body, a backpack, or at least many back, many pockets and a giant backpack-like pocket on the back, if memory serves correctly, are also on the ears jumpsuit. Some of the stitching on the jumpsuit possesses loose threads. The materials of the backpack seem to be largely of polyester. The ears jumpsuit also has some see-through panels. I wonder how practical the backpack pocket on the back of the jumpsuit is, as I feel it will be difficult, if not impossible, to access this without taking off the jumpsuit. Perhaps it is useful for friends to help unpack things from one's backpack. <laughs> this backpack would be useful for being a snack mule in places where snacks may be scarce. Heavier loads might pull down on the backpack in a way that is uncomfortable or unseemly. Likewise, I think it would behoove Hamkus to make the sleeves and the back panel easier to zip on and off without taking the jumpsuit off or having to reach into uncomfortable positions to adjust. It would also be useful to have some kind of snap or clasp to attach the sleeves to when removed for greater comfort and retainability, and perhaps something to wrap the sleeves and upper portion together when it is unzipped and hanging down so and worn about the waist, so it does not get caught on anything or bother anyone, because it is exceptionally bulky when worn this way. The back opening offers fantastic ventilation, and the jumpsuit is exceptionally mobile and flows around the body easily. The thin polyester material makes me wonder how warm it is in harsh cold weather, and several of my friends on the Techwear Reddit recommended wearing similar jumpsuits from Hamkus as a shell with clothing underneath in winter. I wonder how well such a jumpsuit would fare with layers underneath. The jumpsuit is certainly comfortable and highly detailed and articulated. 
There is a strap in front that I assume is to act as a belt to cinch in the ample waist, especially when the jumpsuit is opened and worn down. Hamkus told me that I should order an extra large in previous emails since I am very large. But even so, the medium is still quite baggy, and tightening the relatively small belt-like drawstring belt thing on the front does little to hold the jumpsuit up when worn unzipped and about the waist. The jumpsuit wants to continue unraveling further, potentially compromising one's undergarment to spectators. <laughs> At first, I believe this is what the harnesses being marketed on the website are for, thinking that they attach to the jumpsuit to keep it from sliding down further. But I have been assured by Hamkus in emails that the harness is purely for fashion and remains completely unattached from the jumpsuit and is absent from any kind of suspension benefits that might be rendered to the jumpsuit. I feel that it would benefit Hemkus, a brand that prides itself on the interplay of its items so greatly and generally does a great job of that to make such a harness functional and providing suspension support similar to suspenders for the jumpsuit when worn open and about the waist. The hood that unzips and comes out of the neck is also a little difficult to fit back into the neckline, but represents a novel solution to the traditional removable hood since it gives a nice padded and futuristic look to the collar. The number of zippers and pockets is indescribable. There are a few pockets that seem so small that it would be difficult to store anything in, and I wonder what, would, what it would be like to actually store things in all the pockets. It would quickly become very bulky, I imagine, as well as very easy to lose things inside. The feature on this jumpsuit are too many to count, and I am overall pleased with this jumpsuit. In regards to the many pockets, I could imagine in some fantasy scenario if someone were to wear this jumpsuit for everyday things. It might be easy to organize one's belongings uh, amongst, the, amongst the pockets. For example, I know where my ID is. I know where my keys are. I know <laughs> that might be pretty convenient with all of those pockets. I know I made many criticisms, but that is to be expected since... Hemkus is a work in progress, and always will be from what I gather from various interviews and discussions I've read online. This is, simply put, the price of innovation. That new ideas must always, and can always, be improved and refined further. And I commend M. Hemkus for taking these brave, bold steps. The Hemkus ICS Standard Bodysuit? I, I really apologize with the, with the names, the... The names on the website seem extremely confusing to, 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 to pronounce sometimes or to say. Uh, I, I will do my best. Kate, they, 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 they pick very military sounding names with uh, acronyms and, and numbers as well as different names for different items, maybe. Uh, anyway. Uh, the Hamkus ICS standard bodysuit came quickly and fits very comfortably. It has cute little thumb holes and novel round pockets. I imagine these pockets are very easy to access, but I struggle to think of things one could store in them without creating textures and shapes in odd places. The ICS standard jumpsuit is shown often paired with the ears jumpsuit and perhaps is intended to allow easy access to these pockets when worn underneath a jumpsuit thereby bypassing the odd visual bulk that may be created by storing something in these pockets. The extra large size seems very apt per, uh, per the representative from Hamkus's recommendation and is long enough to tuck into other items comfortably. It is exceptionally soft and comfortable, a very impressive piece. Hamkus, the Hamkus LPU CMU temp tank top is also exceptionally comfortable. It has some slits in its construction that allow for tremendous mobility. However, the trade-off is that one's belly and chest can be seen while moving occasionally because of these slits. Otherwise, the tank top is likewise very comfortable and an excellent complement to the rest of the ears outfit jumpsuit. The next portion and final portion of the Hamkus review is directly from the Hamkus website. Hamkus seems very concerned with ensuring liability, liability protection in terms of sizing and answering questions when asked um, many, uh, and, and they answered questions when asked many times. 
probably because they are busy with massive numbers of customers. I asked Hamkus if the Antares slash S-U-E-N-A-C-A-T H-L Gators <laughs> came as a pair or if the listed price was for a single item. They told me that they are each sold separately and that only one is included in each order. Therefore, I ordered two, one for each leg, and received two pairs. Hamkus graciously accepted my return of the second pair, and this was and this return was completed free. It was completely free. Hamkus's, Hamkus's return policy states that returns are the responsibility of the customer and can cost $85 to return to China. This is $60 to $65 for shipping and approximately $20 customs tax for a pair of pants and a t-shirt or a shirt. The enormous return expense means that it is extremely important to set check size charts carefully and ask questions until one gets an answer that is satisfactory. Hemkus also refuses returns on discount and sale items, which means almost all but the most current inventory or final sale. Since almost all the items on their website are on sale all the time, and they do sell out pretty quickly, <laughs> um, from what I have seen, the, uh, the Edgeologist Pants A slash Envdapt Convertible Pants are already sold out, for example. These pants are too small for me. I ordered the size medium based upon the, the, the jumpsuit band. Uh, this uh, this fact is obscured due to the long shirt I am wearing over it. The fit is intended to be much baggier, but I really like how these look. These short shorts look. I think they are daring and innovative reach into short shorts for unisex fashion and are a prime example of how when traditionally feminine items are adapted for unisex fashion in 2023, they often take on a masculine look. The pants have a detachable mesh portion and portion that goes and a solid portion that goes over the pants. The website gives the impression that both the mesh leggings and solid portion of the leggings can be worn at the same time. But but in fact only one can be worn at once. Or at least that was my impression. I, I am ignorant as to whether or whether, whether Hemkus intended for this perception to be created. The pockets on the side are unique in that they stick out in a drawstring pouch form, providing some modesty to the exceptionally short shorts. They get pretty short on the side. <laughs> the pockets seem deep and relatively stiff. I wonder if items placed inside would bounce out during strenuous physical activity such as jumping due to the opening of the pockets. The zip-off leggings. The pockets make me wonder if I imagine someone walking around and picking up rocks, uh, shiny shiny rocks or uh, pieces of valuable items on the ground and putting them in these pockets. They, they really seem like, like they, they, they would be for something like that. <laughs> the zip-off leggings are a little finicky to get on or off, but one can modify them for season, I imagine, and leave them as the weather dictates. The gaiters mentioned earlier accept the mesh portion of the pants very readily. The mesh gaiters really rely upon the boots and shoe choice to remain upright, and that is a critical element of these items, at least in my experience. If one, is, there are so many features, I may simply be wearing them incorrectly. If one is wearing sleek, svelte shoes, I suspect that the gaiters may slip under them. Therefore, it seems these gaiters must be worn with some kind of chunky, bulky shoe or boot. The upper portion of these. 2X Antares Suem ACAT HL Gators want to sag down, and even so, I feel that is intentionally part of the look. The zippers that run the full length of the 2X Antares Suem ACAT HL Gators, the names, the names really, make it, make, they, 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 the zippers make uh, putting them on over shoes a breeze and can be adjusted for tightness with the use of a bungee and magnetic clasp. The LPU printed long tank, tank top comes with a pretty dog tag looking attachment that fits into the hole at the back of the neck. And this is something that I've yet to see included in the pictures, but adds texture to the tank top. 
The tank top is exceptionally long, long enough to be like a dress, and I feel requires some kind of suspension to keep it in position as a shirt or tunic. It is comfortable, but the use of Velcro in the pants means that the shirt fibers are constantly getting caught in the Velcro, unless the Velcro is closed with great precision. Snagging the shirt on the Velcro seems to contribute to piling or pulling of the threads. Which may be problematic for such a, an expensive garment. I'd like to see Hamkus continue to innovate ways to make their garments even more functional and inter interconnected with each other, such as by making the sleeves and zip-off portions easier to remove and attach as well as retain when removed while wearing the item, uh, and to provide suspension methods for things such as the gaiters or the top portion of the, of the, of the jumpsuit when it is worn about the waist. And as for the great wa gaiters, the suspension mechanism would help when so that they can be worn freely uh, and independently from the shoe choices someone makes. I would also like to see Hamkus open stores in America to make returns more convenient and accessible. A great variety of colors, a greater variety of colors and materials would be great additions to the Hamkus brand, which makes use of mostly polyester material or synthetic materials and mostly grays, blacks, browns, and other neutrals. In my opinion, at least, I think this would be a benefit to have more colors and materials. Overall, I am pleased with the quality of all these garments, and any criticisms I feel stem from the fact that they are pushing the envelope in ways I have yet to see anywhere else, and this means constant refinement is required, something I, which I am confident Hemkus is eager to do. I look forward to see, uh, or perhaps other brands may copy Hemkus and refine those, those elements. I very much like Hamkus's avant-garde and daring uh, personality. I look forward to seeing how other customers wear their Hamkus brand items, and uh, I also wish the lore was more easily accessible. It would be nice if every piece on the website linked clearly to the relevant lore of the factions and backstory associated with it. I feel I should mention all the pieces I mentioned here today are exceptionally comfortable and very mobile. If the fate of heart beware, Hamkus was a blast to try on, and I have high praises. Thank you for your time. Please let me know what other brands you are interested in learning about. God bless you all.